It's one of the few custom PS5 controllers on the market, but do the rave reviews tell the full story for this $260 controller? The Scuff Reflex FPS, is it worth it? In your opinion, what is the best video game controller to date? Is it the Elite Series 2, the DualSense controller, Rob the Robot from back in the early Nintendo days? Please don't answer that, that thing was awful. I have been testing the Scuff Reflex FPS for the past few weeks. Circling back to my prior questions, I can only speculate that the folks at Scuff Gaming would want one of their controllers to be on your favorites list. However, today we must ask this specific question. Is the extraordinarily high priced $259 Scuff Reflex FPS worth it? Especially when a brand new DualSense controller, a true revolution in the world of haptics and immersive controller tech, is only $69? After weeks of testing and a little bit of journalistic digging, I have some thoughts. Let's break it down. Note, if you happen to make a purchase through one of our links, Slick Deals may receive a commission. At first glance, the Scuff controller seems to have solid build quality. I personally think it has a nice and sleek looking design, but I don't know your thoughts. Feel free to type away in the comment section and let me know your initial impressions. The controller has removable paddles and pads and they seem to have great quality. However, Scuff still only provides you with a six month warranty, which I will touch on more a little later. And 260 big bucks is a steep price point. So again, let's discuss if it's worth it. Now, when directly comparing the Scuff Reflex Pro to the Scuff Reflex FPS, you will notice differences right away. I know that I mentioned that the build quality is the same, but you will probably feel more comfortable for longer gaming sessions over time with the FPS because of the weight difference. The Reflex Pro weighs in at 10.75 ounces and the Reflex FPS weighs in at 8.2 ounces, with PlayStation's original DualSense coming in right in between around 9.9 .9 ounces. Generally, FPS-focused gaming peripherals tend to skew on the lighter side, but ultimately the heft of the device is a matter of personal preference. When it comes to the Scuff Reflex FPS, there's a laundry list of features to discuss. Remappable paddles are clutch and allow gamers for a more custom experience, whether it be map, terrain, or game differences. Scuff refers to the grip as high performance and zero complaints here, it feels good in the hand and doesn't collect muck like the DualSense can. The Scuff Reflex FPS is designed to be used with first person shooters specifically, so Scuff made the decision to do away with the adaptive triggers like you'd find on the Reflex Pro, Base Reflex, and DualSense. Instead, Scuff traded those for instant triggers and bumpers. Now before we move on, let's go over the instant triggers in detail. They're designed to be similar to a mouse click. If we focus on visualizing a mouse click, we know that the travel distance is small. So aiming and repeated shooting instantly warps to the next level. It is undeniable using the instant trigger opposed to the adaptive instantly makes you a tougher competitor in FPS games. Now, if you're a gamer that wants feedback, this does not have vibration motors. That is simply the cost penalty for moving to an instant trigger based system. Considering that the adaptive triggers and advanced haptics were some of the main selling points of the DualSense controller and the PS5, that's a tough trade. Now, the benefit is what I outlined before, faster aim to shoot times and less wait for longer gaming sessions. The Scuff Reflex FPS has a mute button and Bluetooth connectivity like most controllers, so there are no surprises here. One killer feature that Reflex FPS brings over from the Reflex Pro is support for onboard profiles. With four remappable and removable rear paddles, you get that added flexibility. Need to play a section of the map, level, or whole game with your hands on both sticks? Well, just utilize the rear paddles. Also, if you have a specific configuration, use the onboard profiles to switch between your custom configurations. You can also keep track of which profile you're using by looking at the LED lights, so there won't be any in-game surprises. The scuff is fully customizable from a decorative standpoint, and the colorways are pretty rad, so if you want to stand out in a crowd, you can. Although, in comparison to other scuff controllers, you cannot remove the entire faceplate on this one, meaning that whatever color you initially buy is the one you're going to stick with. Next, let's talk about gaming performance. Performance was stellar, as we had several long gaming sessions that were not cumbersome because of the reduced weight. I spent a lot of time testing out first-person shooters, which admittedly, I don't play a lot of. But in these games specifically, I appreciated the extra competitive help and didn't miss the lack of rumble features as much as I had thought I would. 
I will say that the rear paddles were nice to have and if you get used to using them will be a huge advantage over the DualSense, but it is definitely going to be up to the end user. Some gamers may feel that they will need to remove some of the paddles in order to avoid false touches. However, in my case, it did allow me to focus more on laying the smack down on everyone. Now, as far as the grip goes, performance did hold up. While not an FPS, I must have played Elden Ring for hours, and if you were at my latest Twitch stream, you were unknowingly witness to my Scuff Reflex FPS gaming session, even though I'm typically a keyboard and mouse tarnished. Overall, FPS gaming on this baby definitely can give you an edge competitively, but I will give one caveat. Top gaming peripherals are usually all about customization, and while the Scuff Reflex FPS is very customizable aesthetically, which we'll discuss in a moment, from a gameplay standpoint, the triggers themselves are not remappable. Good news is you can remap just about everything else. L1, L3, R1, R3, the action buttons, and each direction of the D-pad as well. Aesthetically, I personally really like the design of this controller. Now, again, sound off in the comments section and voice your opinion, but keep in mind, this controller is fully customizable as far as its look goes. So if you don't like the design, you at least have some ability to change that via customization. You literally can customize the following. I have to warn you, it's a long list. You can customize the faceplate, touchpad, faceplate, trim, left thumbstick, right thumbstick, left ring, right ring, bumper slash trigger type, bumpers, triggers, D-pad, button kit, create slash options, and home button. Phew, I told you that was a long list. I would say that's impressive. To recap, the Scuff Reflex FPS has outstanding build quality. Playing against people who don't have instant triggers can feel like a literal cheat code. It has removable analog sticks, removable and remappable paddles, and if you don't like the design, you can customize literally everything about the controller plus some extra grip. If you're into first-person shooters, you owe it to yourself to check out a controller with instant triggers. That being said, when it comes to hefty price point, is the Scuff Reflex FPS at $259 or even the Scuff Reflex Pro at $229 worth it over the $69 DualSense? I have one more section to cover that most other reviewers probably aren't going to get into, real world user reviews. Now it's easy for a critic to get a review unit and test it out, find the really good things and give the product a stellar review which is typically what happens with Scuff Gaming products. However, if you look deeper, you will find user reviews online do not match the average feedback from a tech journalist. As of this recording, Scuff Gaming has a Trust Pilot score of 3.1 out of 5, with more than 4,000 reviews. Most of the negative feedback is centered around slow responses from customer service, which is not great when considering the relatively brief six-month warranty, along with issues with the controller failing, which can happen with every controller, but when you're paying hundreds of dollars for a product like this, you'd expect it to last. One other gripe some customers had, the purchasing experience. Scuff sells these controllers in limited releases. We waited in a queue for more than an hour to purchase them. Scuff is not very upfront about fulfillment times, and they are not consistent with customers either. Some customers who purchased on the same day as us only waited a week to receive their controllers, while ours took more than a month. So it's really a crapshoot when you will actually get your controller if you order one, but I digress. Is this $260 gaming controller worth it? I'd say, unless you are a competitive FPS player with sights set on making it onto a pro esports team and you have incredibly deep pockets to pay for that competitive edge, the answer is probably not. I mean, you can buy three DualSense controllers for the price of this controller and get some of the best controller features to date. In my opinion, and take this with a grain of salt considering I'm more of an action adventure player at my core, the Scuff Reflex Pro and Reflex Pro FPS offer a definite but modest improvement over the PlayStation DualSense controller. And it's hard to justify a price point worth more than half the price of an entire PS5 console for the extra features provided. However, the Scuff controller is unapologetic in its approach. And if it was priced closer to the $100 price point, the extra grip, remappable paddles, customizable aesthetics, instant triggers, and swappable thumbsticks would be worth it hands down. Would you agree with me? I'm 100% okay if not, just spell it out why you would argue for or against in the comments below. I'd honestly love to read it. The great thing with gaming is how personal of an experience it is for each of us, 
And what may seem a modest improvement to me may be a game changer to someone else. So have at it in the comment section. As with any of our videos here at Slick Deals, please note that all pricing and potential configuration listed in this video is subject to change. Somehow I get the feeling that no one would complain if the price got lower. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, ding that bell and all of that good stuff. Till next time, happy shopping and may all your hits be crits.